So uh, this is the uh, projector configurator. Uh, you can find that on projectorconfigurator.com uh, or on lm3x.com. And what we have here, we have 3D space um, and we have, uh, we can zoom the space and we have this uh, canvas dialog here. So I'm going to open canvas and I will click on show canvas and show dimensions. Uh, so now I have this like uh, simple rectangle, uh, which is going to work as a projection surface, as, as an object that we're going to project onto. So uh, now I want to apply a texture of the building here, which I uh, prepared uh, earlier. So let me just, um, let me just do that. Okay, so I will just close the window and um i have oh oops. yeah i have some textures here so i'm going to just use the this texture uh, of the building so this is like a front uh front um plan of the building uh you can get such a front plan of the building by taking up photo from a longer distance and then like fixing the verticals and horizontals in Photoshop so that you have a nice uh, plan texture of the building. So we need to make sure that this is in a correct scale. Um, so yeah, I will make it wider like this. Uh, let's say for the sake of this experiment, this is 10 meters that could probably work. I'm going to make it a little bigger to make it more realistic. Yeah, okay. So now <clears throat> we, uh, we have uh, the model of the object that we want to illuminate uh, in our uh, scene. And we can uh, also control the contrast here. And um, yeah, we can delete the texture. So this is the, the canvas. Um, function. Uh, so then we have the view function. So th th this is like additional features that we can show uh, that could help us like a great when one meter grid, 10 meter grid, uh, and then some vis visual, visual stuff. I will show them later. So now as we have this um, building here, we're, we're going to add, add a projector there. So here we have a selection of, of projectors. So we have a uh, laser 4G, uh, which is an outdoor projector, very good outdoor projector made by LM3X. Uh, and then we also have uh, the, the custom projector here. Uh, so the custom is very useful. If you want to use your own projector, not, not ours, you can just fill in um, uh, the custom will in enable you to fill in your own projector uh, parameters so you can simulate any projector with this software. But we're going to stick with the uh, Laser 4G projector, uh, which is like pre-configured. It's like our, our projector that we, we manufacture at LM3X. So I'm going to um, add the projector here. And now I can see that the projector is there uh, at a certain distance from the building. And I can see the illuminated area here, and I can see I can see lux level. So this is 160 lux uh, for one projector. Uh, that's very very bright. So so I could have this center illuminated with very very bright picture like that, or I can uh, zoom the projector because a project each projector every projector has a um, um, zooming uh, ability. So I can make the picture bigger. Uh, with, with less lux, 96 is still like more than enough, probably. Or I can have it like even brighter, like this. So I'm gonna like, zoom the projector out and move it uh, to the left, and and I can control. You know, like here, you probably have some street or road, so you would have that projector positioned like relatively. To, you have to position the projector where. There, reality allows you usually uh usually it has to be at some specific uh range uh some specific area so you would use these like move and move tools 
uh, to, to to put the projector where you can actually put it uh, in the physical world. Uh, so now when I'm like more further away, I see that the lux level is low and therefore I can do like two things. I can either um, zoom the projector in and yeah, that, that solved the problem. 79 lux is, is uh, still okay. Um, but now I see that there's a lot of light going on this roof here, which I will probably not need, but I would like to do something also on these windows here. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna rotate the projector downwards a little bit. And you see that, that the program calculates it, it correctly. And because there is like little rotation, there is like different lux here and different lux here. Uh, that's absolutely fine. This is unnoticeable by human eyes. So such a small difference. It would have to be like more like 50% difference so that you would even be able to notice that gradient. So this is how projectors in physical world uh, be behave. Uh, then, um, yeah, and then there's also like this ability, the projectors, we can overlay projectors. Um, so if we would go like even more further away and even the, the even the narrowest uh, zoom still doesn't do, uh, I mean, 41 could be enough in a good, if, a, if the building is, uh, is white color and it's not much ambient light. Like forty-one lux could be um, could be um, enough, but for the sake of experiment, let's say uh, we want to have brighter image, so we can do overlay units, and so what this parameter does, it renders like more projectors uh, together, and then it calculates their connection and it shows you the lux with higher uh, amount of projectors. So you can we can even use like, for example, four projectors. And we would have like very bright picture. So this is the overlaying projectors uh, ability. Uh, and then there is also like, uh, we can also like array projectors next to each other because LM3X uh, projectors, uh, the laser 4G by LM3X comes with a uh, image blending feature. So we are able to blend like multiple projectors next to each other. So, so, I would just add another projector hub, uh, hub here. Um, yeah, so we have like set, uh, we have like a new um, set of projectors here. I'm gonna move them uh, to the right uh, to uh, to eliminate. Um, yeah, next part of the building. So it's recommended to have like approximately like five five percent overlap where you want to do uh, the blend. So if, if I place the projectors like this, uh, then I, the, the software of LM3X projectors would allow me to, to do a nice blend here. So this whole area would, would work as a unified uh, projection area. And yeah, and I can, con I can go on and just do the same and just move this uh, to the right. Yeah, and I would have like that big building uh, illuminated with very, very good lux. Um, and um, yeah, and now I can, if I want to like use output of this software into like further, like inserting into photograph or something, there are more uh, view features here. So I can do, I can change the perspective of the view and I can like move the camera around so that I can really um, like see have nice visuals uh, for my offers. Um, I can switch on uh, those additional lines that make the cones of light stand out a little better. Um, and um, yeah, I can use this grid on the background. Uh, it's like 10 meters grid uh, could be useful. Yeah, so I think um, we've pretty much covered um, all the features of the LN3X Pro configurator. Um, don't hesitate to contact us with any inquiries on projection mapping at lm3x 
www.ecommerceinstitute.com. Thank you, guys. See you later.